Hey everyone, in this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to convert any trading strategy which contains a buy sell short cover variable, means long entry, long exit, short entry, short exit, four different values if you are having and how you can convert that particular trading strategy with target stop loss and intraday control is what we're going to learn in this session. Let me open the trading view charts here and then I had already posted here an strategy which contains a long entry, long exit and then a short entry and short exit. It's a simple DMA based Ichimoku strategy over here. Let's say I'll apply it on a slightly higher time frame like Harley and then now what I want to do here is uh, the strategy is containing long entry, long exit, short entry, short exit. Four variables are happening. So in the previous video, we had seen only a long shot module only, but this is not a long shot module. Here it is more of a long entry, long exit, short entry, short exit kind of module. So for this, uh, if I want to add, or if I want to convert this module into automation, what I have to do is like the procedure is more or less same like what we done in long shot module. I open the pine script code, right? And then I strip down the strategy section completely. And then, uh, I also go back to the top, I'll remove the uh, strategy part and then uh, everything I'm just going to remove it. So plain vanilla trading logic is what I'm having and I also try to identify a place where the buy sell uh, short cover or the long entry, long exit, short entry, short exit variables are available. So here you can see that this is long entry, long exit, short entry and short exit. So this is a four important variable. So copy the entire code, put it in a notepad, okay, and then uh, go back to the code again, erase everything. Now it's time to load the AlgoMojo module. For that, I'll go to AlgoMojo website. From here, I'll go to Arrow library. Under the Arrow library, I'll go to Trading View modules. Under Trading View modules, I'll go to Chart Trading Buy Sell Short Cover, which is nothing but Long Entry, Long Exit, Short Entry, Short Exit. That module is what I'm going to open that and after opening what I am going to do here is I'll just simply copy it and then I'll bring it into trading view. So here if you could see we have total uh, how many blocks that we have total five blocks is what we've been having over here total five blocks. Among that the fourth block is the trading strategy block and control block which is a very important module. Block 5 contains the signal mapping and intraday function module. So uh, I'm going to do the same thing as we done in the long shot module. First I'm going to change the strategy name over here. Let's say strategy name I'll make it like DMI strategy. And also I'm going to change it in the short title as well. DMI strategy plus Ichimoku, right? So I'll, I'll give a name, short name like DMI strategy itself. So three places we have to change the strategy name. One is in the title section, another one is in the short title section. And then finally, I have to change the under the strategy uh, variable over here. So am underscore strategy. Here also I will change the strategy name to DMI strategy. So once I am done with that, uh, next one is pretty easiest one. So go back, uh, block one is done, block two and block three, nothing to touch. Right. So in fact, uh, block two is primarily for the traders who are uh, going to use positional position sizing. I mean, positional trading purpose only the block two has been provided. Uh, we are not going to touch anyways. Block three also we are not going to touch. Block four is the trading strategy. So remove the uh, trading strategy, which contains a buy sell short cover signal, remove it and then go to our notepad copy the content and then paste it over here. Remember strategy section has to be removed and uh, the top strategy section has to be removed. Now we have long entry, long exit, short entry, short exit. This is what we have to map it in the block 5 module. So I'll go to block 5. Long entry is here. So let me copy the long entry. So this is long entry variable long entry, I, I have to map it over. First of all, I will remove all the comments because this is where the mapping happens. Uh, instead of T by, I am going to replace with long entry and then long exit, I am going to map it to cell. 
cell signal likewise a short entry i have to map it to short signal and then uh, short exit i have to map it to cover signal okay so this is long entry long exit short entry and short exit all the four parameters are mapped so now if i click on save automatically the module is complete now and it is ready to uh, implement automation so once the module is done so remove the old module so better remove the old module and then add the uh, current module over here what you should be able to see here is you should be able to see the back testing results if you go to the performance you should be able to see the performance summary and everything now it is time to configure so go to the settings enter the api key in api secret key for that i'll go to algo mojo account from here i'll go to my api section get the api key and api secret key key and uh, api secret key the trading account is going to be with a broker angel one and then uh, day my strategy trading symbol for the trading symbol uh, let i'm gonna use something like uh, since it's nifty futures uh, let me enter the trading symbol here uh, nifty 29 december 22 fut so that is a trading symbol that i can pick up from the broker terminal itself if in case if you are not sure you can go and search in the watch list so obviously the watch list will have those symbol if not you can go and search it out also in my case i'm already having it in the watch list so let me go and copy those values nifty 29 december 22 fut it's exactly the same thing i had implemented over here exchange is going to be nfo and uh, let's say this is going to be an uh, i want to implement an intraday strategy so i have to select M mas or if it is uh, carry forward i have to implement nrml over here and quantity i'm going to say like i want to trade uh, nifty maybe two lots i want to trade so two lots is going to be 100 quantity and then uh, i don't want to implement any larger order so i'll keep uh, split order as no May maybe if the order size is exceeding the freeze quantity you can implement uh, split quantity over here as yes and implement the split quantity as like freeze limit 1800 something like that so that whenever you are exiting uh, bigger quantities uh, whenever you are exiting the freeze limit quantity in one shot if you want to send orders one can enable the split order controls so for time being i'm not keeping the uh, i'm not enabling the split order control so i'm going to keep it as like no and then scroll down this backtesting control is primarily for the positional traders if you are an intraday trader you don't need to worry about that if you are an positional trader then yes you have to enable it set to whenever you are creating let's say tomorrow you are going to run the algo today itself you want to set then you can enter from tomorrow's date onwards or today morning before the market starting you are uh, you want to start today and before the market starting itself you are implementing the strategy then also you have to set, set the same data but always remember before the market start only you have to set it whichever the day you want to run that particular day that particular month and that particular uh, year needs to be entered means from day from month from year two date uh, two month two year you can leave it as default you don't need to touch at all and uh, the final control is the intraday control so you can enable intraday control if in case you want and also you can enable the stop loss target controls as well and finally the trailing stop loss controls as well if in case if you want to you can enable those strategy automatically the uh, buy sell short cover variable will be implemented in your code and uh, once you are done with all the controls you can press ok you can go back and add the alert right so when you are adding the alert please remember that there are two things we need to understand so given alert name let's say dmi uh, strategy automation just give some name the message here has to be an uh, uh, it, it's more of an uh, placeholder so if you click on the question mark you'll be able to find all the placeholder which are supported however algomojo in this module it support a specific strategy based uh, placeholder called strategy dot order dot alert underscore message copy this placeholder this will fill dynamic message during live alerts whenever the alerts are getting triggered and whenever there's a buy signal buy message will be sent to algo mojo whenever there's a sell signal sell message will be sent to algo mojo so once you are done with that the final thing is like if you go to notification right uh, you have to enable the webhook url 
webu qrl you can place you can check in the order itself uh, i mean in the module itself where you are downloading in the third line you can figure it out this is common for all the brokers right and uh, just change the webu qrl and create the alert before creating alert ensure that all the settings are proper all the uh, message section is proper notification section webu qrl is enabled right a webu qrl is check mark then you click on create within a couple of seconds you'll be seeing a new alert would have been got created over here it take at least 2 or 3 seconds to uh, visible on the alert section and any alerts are getting triggered you'll be able to see it in the alert log section as well all right so this is a very simple implementation of uh, a module which contains a buy sell short and cover or in another sense long entry long exit short entry and short exit i hope this explains maybe in the next video we'll look into how to implement the options execution module see you in the next video thank you